Hi again, back with two new cells. <coughs> the one on the right here is my flexible carbon cell. I've got a copper electrode running down the side of it and it's coated in graphene soaked in acetone for a week, allowed to dry and then microwaved same with the aluminium sheet, the coating's the same, other than that. And the electrolyte today is a gel type made out of Epsom salts and manganese oxide as a trial. Okay, I'll apply the electro electrolyte and um, get back to yours. Electrolyte is applied. It's about that thick. It's um, quite spongy. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Okay, I'll um, put the cell back together and we'll get back to here. <coughs> the cell is connected to the voltage meter, but we've got the ohms reading at the moment set on the 20k ohms reading, and we're getting 13 to 12. Okay, do the voltage. The voltage is um voltage is quite low at the moment. Set on the twenty range. It's only currently at point one five volts. <coughs> the electrolyte was Epsom salts, manganese dioxide and a gel substance found in nappies. Okay, I'll hook up the amp meter and apply a charge, I reckon. Give me one moment. Amp meters are set to 200 range. All the leads are attached. I'll uh, attempt to charge for 20 seconds on one volt. Oh, that's about 20 seconds. Here's the see if we um the bolt hold. No. Hmm. Could be a daddy. But the um electrolyte has to soak through the coating first, so this one may need to sit around for a couple of hours before attempting anything. I'll um increase the voltage a bit. Uh, I'll hook it up and see what we got. We've got 3 volts now charging. It's got 130 milliamps going down. I forgot to count. I'll start now for 20. See if that voltage changes at all.
This was just to try some Epsom salts with mang manganese oxide. Not looking good. But the cell's pretty dry. The coating is quite thick. I'll go have tea and then come back and see what happens. Short circuit milliamps. Oh, we got six. I'll leave it sitting around for an hour and um, I'll get back. Well, back. It's now the next day of this cell, and this, I have to admit, is one of the strangest cells I've seen. This uh, Yesterday I was playing with the charge and charging it up and down and stuff, and um, got a tail rotor from one of the micro choppers as the load for this cell and it will run that with a charge a 10 second charge runs for runs that motor for 2 minutes a 1 minute charge runs that motor for only 20 seconds which is strange and today which is even more stranger is the polarity of this battery is in the negatives. The aluminium cell was the negative was the yeah was the negative yesterday which is still hooked up as it was yesterday but now it thinks it just fell off. It thinks the aluminium plate is the positive so does that mean I have to charge that now to that being the positive? I'm not quite sure on that. So I'll um, swap the leads around and give it a charge and see what happens. That might explain why yesterday every time I'd give it a charge it was always leak. The charge would dissipate. It always went down to this level eventually. Alright, I'll set it up and get back.